Welcome back to Weekend Today in Central New York. I'm joined by Chief Cecil from the Syracuse Police Department. And Chief, welcome back. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to touch on today was specifically starting with an elevation in shootings in the city. Can you talk about that a little bit? Sure. We had a spike uh, in the last couple of weeks. Uh, we determined to, with a rap video that was put out there by one gang to another. Uh, the rap video had a bunch of insults in it uh, that went back years ago. And... Uh, and the other gang took offense to that. So with this rap video, one gang is kind of firing at another gang and it spurred this wave of shootings and violence in the city. What is looking into that? What is that like for you guys? What does it look like on your end? So again, uh, interestingly enough, this is one of the reasons why we didn't have the spike before. We were doing very well with our gun numbers because mm -hmm. we weren't having these back and forth retaliations between gangs. So when this occurred, um, it didn't surprise us because we knew about the video. We knew things were going to happen. We could see the shots fired going up. So, uh, you know, just put resources out there, not only police resources, but um, the outreach workers from Pastor uh, Johnson Kinsey to see if we could get them to to, to tamp it down and uh, put those guns down. But the spike went through the roof for a week or two. Mm -hmm. Again, we had the one homicide. Likely this one, the other one's going to turn into a homicide. Um, but things have settled down a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. But we're not going to uh, we're not going to rest until we can can make sure we get a handle on this. Yeah. So I guess my next question is, what does it look like behind the scenes for you guys trying to tamper it down? You said you guys are talking to Mr. Johnson Kinsey. What else is going on from you, from your perspective behind the scenes? Yeah, so uh, the gang task force is out there uh, mm -hmm. in bigger numbers, and we also have that give detail that goes out through the state, concentrating on those two gangs that are having this dispute right now. Um, if we can make arrests, we will. If not, uh, the outreach workers will speak to them about seeing, again, seeing if they can, um, you know, take care of this dispute uh, in some other way than, than bullets. Right. So. Pivoting a little bit, we're going to the topic of smash and grabs in Syracuse. Besides the obvious, don't leave stuff in your car, get a wheel lock if you can. We've talked about that in the past. What else can I do to ensure that I am safe? My car is safe and no windows are going to be broken. Yeah. Well, I think you covered the two big ones. Again, if you don't have something in there visible, for the most, most times, if someone's just not going down the street, uh, committing criminal mischief. Uh, most of the times, people that break into your car have seen something in there they want, whether they want to steal it or they've seen a laptop in there or a cell phone, something like that. So keep things out of sight. Uh, don't leave anything in your car. And as, if, as we know, uh, the numbers of stolen vehicles have gone down somewhat. Right. Um, they're starting to plateau, but it's still happening. Still 38% higher than last year. So the steering wheel lock, if you have that affected vehicle, you can come down to the public safety building and get a free steering wheel lock and put that on. And, and uh, help your chances of not having your car stolen. Right, and obviously the car being stolen is the more, you know, the bigger problem, but they'll break your window even if you have a phone cord in there. It could be yeah. that simple. It so hiding everything out of plain sight, right? Yeah, absolutely. You gotta hide everything. You gotta take it into your house, put it in the trunk, somewhere where they can't see it, you know? And you know, um, that's the best way to prevent them from breaking into it, into your car. Um, mm -hmm. Some really helpful tips, Chief. Thank you so much for being here this morning. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.